Hello right, guys and girls, I'm at Fires Woods and uh, let's put the hammock up and uh, get a small fire going, I think big just a small one. It's quite humid today but I'm just using the two some cooking on, heat some water up for coffee or tea. So uh, let's get on with that. This is it, isn't it? Right, let's get the fire going. Baby soaks. So I need to put some dry wood down first. dry base there and you could do a decent bit of wood there's a wedge So this is could be damp this stuff. Feel, don't feel that dry. But let's go have a go with it. Yeah, it's pretty damp to be honest.
picked up this brilliant thing. And the pepper meat. It's pretty damp, you can see the smoke coming off it, it's all going in my eyes. All I'm doing is spreading the fire across. I think I can leave that now. That should build up its own accord. Well, right, inside my fire kit, as I just used it, I'll show you what is in the contents of it. Now, this is a leather pouch that I picked up many years ago. Um, and I don't think there's no name on it or anything like that, well, there might be, but ST, but yeah, it works quite well and it's got a nice belt loop on it as well. So uh, I'm going to try and do this because I ain't got a proper tripod on it. So inside it, I have some cotton ball and Vaseline, which is obviously the easy starting and quick. So I have that. Um, I've got a, a very sort of fine. Uh, knife sharpener or honing, a little candle, and then I have one of the US military fire gel starting, which they start it starts up brilliantly with one of them. Um, also, a I don't know, a fire lighting match, one of the barbecue things because it fits in there quite nicely. Um, there's my tin, which I'll go through that shortly, and also I have in here is these alcohol wipes, which you can strike with a ferro rod and they will go as well, and some plasters, because you always have to have plasters somewhere or another, and that's it, and that's it, and in my tin, in the tin, Couple of them fire lighting, barbecue fire lighting, which are really good. And they're flat and they're small, they don't take up any space. Some jute wine that I've puffed up, 
they can take a strike. Uh, the uh, flint and steel, a couple bits of fat wood, and some charred cloth, and a bit more duke twine in there. And that is the contents. Now it's not saying I, I use that one all the time, I've got others, but I try and keep sort of that sort of components in each one of them. So there's all options there for starting a fire. And obviously I've got a ferro rod. And I uh, must be got a lighter on me as well. But you sort of got a bit more traditional and obviously modern stuff as well. And uh, a bit of natural, so that's it. Fresh coffee. Now, I've shown you different ways normally how I do coffee, fresh coffee. And um, this is quite a good one to do. Sorry, it smokes in my eyes again. It's exactly the same as normal, really. You, do, you just put your coffee in, leave it. Give it a stir. It froths up a bit, but just leave that now. Leave it now and uh, put the lid on it. I'm going to come back literally in a couple of minutes and uh, it should be good. A little project I'm going to do today, hopefully. I've got a sleeper. Just handballed that all the way from over there. Over there. Far too heavy to lift, so I just lift one end, dropped it over, lift the other end, dropped it over. Weighs a ton. But I'm gonna, I want to put a little t like table workbench along there near the fire. So when I put the parachute up, which is over there, we've got something to sit, oh, oh, more seating and maybe a bit of prep area and whatnot. So uh, I'm gonna try and keep it as natural as possible. Um, but yeah, I haven't worked a definite plan yet, but we'll get there. Sure will. So we'll get back to the coffee in a minute. Coffee should be done there. So I always give it a good old tap around the outside. Then we give it a little stir around. Now I can tell. See how that's coming out clean. To me that's done and it's ready to go because there's nothing coming off that now so that should be good so you may get at first a little initial bit on the side come in but yeah, it looks good it looks good so yeah that's just quite a simple way of having fresh coffee and to be honest there's not many granules in the bottom of that left over. They all have some obviously but not a great deal. So what I'll do is keep the lid on that now. Chuck it back down chuck it that get it get it right in a minute. Chuck it back down by the fire and it just keep warm. Okay. Bench made. 
to be honest, I've done a bit of scouting around, and uh, yeah, the guy who owns the woods he used to keep uh, do pheasant shooting. He used to have a pheasant pen, so uh, I found out some more of these uh, blocks which were already cut up. Uh, just a pain getting them over. I was dummy in actually getting them over because you didn't get my walk away. But um, yeah, that's all right. It works quite well. It's good enough. Moves a bit, but settling in a bit. It will settle down. But obviously, it's going to reset the other way round. Why is it out? Job done. Just put a bit more wood on the fire and uh, I'm working on a little spoon and a stroke spatula. So I'm working on that at the moment. Made out of oak. I quite like using oak, it's a lovely grain in it, because obviously it's hard. with having the bench now is that you can do little jobs off the ground. So I bought some sandpaper out so I'll get this finished today. So yeah, I'll get with this. Okay now. A lovely day today, beautiful. It's hot still, but the, uh, in being in the woodland here, it's uh, quite cool. Uh, so I've just got the fire ticking over at the moment. And, uh, as soon as you start doing anything energetic, though, you do sweat quite quick. The breeze there as well, quite nice. As you move it around, you see bits that uh, these work. Time's uh, tw dead on 12 o'clock. It's done quite a lot of welly today. And uh, we'll get some lunch on, but not just yet. Time goes so quick when you're out in the woods.
everyone has their own ways of uh, finishing off spoons. I always like to sand them, kind of way. Some people like to leave the rough look, which is great as well, but um, this is just the way I like to do it every time I get to a point. I like to have a finish smooth spoon or fork or knife. Yeah, I'll carry on with this. Fire's just ticking over nicely. Right, all finished. And uh, so it's come up really nice. Right, here's a spoon. All done to a point. Quite happy with it, well very happy with it, it's really nice, feels lovely. Um, but I've got some oil, so let's put some oil on it. So I normally put some in the bowl. There's loads on that at the moment, so I'm just going to let that soak in. And uh, let that soak in a bit. And see how it goes from now. Time to get some lunch on, I think. Another little thing I want to get done today is that I processed these nettles down a couple of days ago and uh, let them dry out for two days. Um, I just want to make a bit of cordage for my uh, natural cordage for my cooked stuff. So, um, so this has been dried out now for a couple of days now, and it's nice, just right. And uh, you can see it's quite thin. You can focus in. I don't know what sort of I'm going to focus in on this camera today, but. It's a slow process, but you know, it's, it's, you can sit here while I'm like waiting for the water to to, to uh, boil. I can just do this. And there is different ways of doing this. Oh, bug me head. but it doesn't actually want to. Once you turn it, it does naturally want to tighten up on itself. This is the sort of thing you get into a little, once you start doing it, you get into like a swing a routine of it, you're right. See now I'm getting near the end, I need to put another bit in. Let's get a thicker bit. Blend this bit in here, and it's quite easy. Like you just have to sing it. You just twist it into it. I've been teaching my daughter how to do it. She's actually enjoyed it. I 
And what I might do then, once I've got a good bit of length for this, double it over and uh, make it doubly strong, doubly strong. <laughs> but see now that bit's coming to the end, so I need to add a bit to this side. Which I don't I want to thin a bit. You've got to try and match up the thicknesses. So you've got a fix side, put a thin a bit on it, and it should blend in better. I've done one low of it, so now I just want to double it up. And it's the same affair as you did when you originally started it. You twist it. And you just do exactly the same. Make sure we get it the right way. So you don't undo what you've just done. But it's quite hard to do it on the camera, but And that's it really. I'll carry on with this because the battery's going flat on the, on the, on the camera. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Bit of cordage. Made out of nettles from a cooker, so made the cooker myself and obviously you like to keep it on and do the cordage yourself. Um, but it's the same to do when you're out and about. So that's that. Job done now. I'm just going for my new right, guys. All done, <coughs> right? All finished, all cleaned up, and uh, yeah, it's been a good day. And yeah, better get back now. Um, good four or five hours here, so that was going flat on my phone. So, yeah, it's all cleaned up, all looking good, and uh, time to go home. I'll see you on another video.